Hey YouTube, today I'm just going to be teaching you how to make a, uh, just a pretty nice, um, kind of vibrant look for an image, kind of, really, kind of make it look nice, if you know what I mean, as in, you know, like you, any, any, just, um, bring up, bring out the colour a bit in an image, so, um, any per human being, so, um, make it look like it'd be in a movie, it, it would be in a movie. Oh yeah, I've been in a movie. Yeah, so we're going to be using all sorts of stuff like um, some curves adjustments. We're going to be using a few brush techniques, stuff like that. So you first want to open up Photoshop and download this image. Um, you then want to double click the background layer, and you just want to name it background as it is. Um, so this will just unlock the layer. So it's. Easily, easily editable and like because it's locked. Um, so once you got that, you can then um, yeah. So duplicate the layer twice. Um, it's clear that. Um, or maybe not. Um, yeah. So you want the third or the second copy? You wanna. Uh, you want to desaturate it by holding down Control and Shift and pressing Y. U. Sorry. You then want to make the blended overlay. So if you look at that, it'll really bring out. It'll really bring up the contrast in the image. So you can then merge that with the layer underneath it. So Control and click it, and then press E. Don't, so don't let it go of the Control buttons. Yeah. So there's before and after. So yeah. Um, what you might want to do now is to bring out some of the whites, even though they're kind of brought out automatically, you can kind of do it manually, so you can make a new layer, make the blend mode overlay, get your brush tool, you want to select a brush size of about 35, and just look for some of the shadowy, darker areas. The opacity 50. <laughs> So now you just uh, focus on the highlights, the forehead, presume that would be easily noticeable, so maybe you can take that down to 17 or something. So just try and find areas to where you can easily bring out the colour. Um, so yeah. Oh, oh, blacks and whites should really start to um, have a feel for the image. So what you might want to do now is you might want to just um, sm yeah, yeah, smudge it. So just smudge this bit here. Is it just kind of smudge it more into the image so it's not just a block of black it's more it's kind of surrounding the image in a more explicit way uh, so what you might want to do now is merge that um, and then you can so another before and after the make it look very professional um, so it's going to be a pretty quick tutorial but you can then go or you can either go image adjustments color balance or you can go control B so what you want to do now is going to kind of make give it a bit of strength so maybe a bit of more red a bit more yellow really make it look professional so maybe do that with the shadows too give a bit of sign It's always nice with the yellow too. Um, so we can do the highlights. 
Yeah, yeah, it looks a lot better to red. Um, I'm just going to do it. Quite a lot of yellow. I'm just keeping it like that. So yeah, you can do a lot. Just with a few um, like brush strokes and layer options and stuff like that really. And really bring the image out. So maybe you might want to repeat the last step with the brush strokes. Bring down that opacity a bit. But don't overdo it. Never overdo it. It's not, um, never looks the best if you overdo it. So maybe you might want to, um, get your luck suit tool and just go around the areas you don't want. Kind of, I don't know. Um, just do it to your liking, I guess. It's just to strengthen the image. It looks stronger than its colours and stuff, really. So you can do it well with a highlight side. It really makes a big difference. Um, so just get the shadows in. If, it, if you don't feel it much the shadows, maybe you might just want to use the highlights and kind of wish that. And it makes an enormous difference to image. All these characters and effects. So, because what I was actually mainly focusing on was the hair. So I might have missed that out actually. So we yeah, have the overlay. Right. Kind of, you just try and get some of the bits of the hair that you might want. Strengthen. So, yeah. Keep looking for those bits. We think that they will look really good. Mm. Yeah, that's looking nice. There you go. So you can do so much to the image. You can um, you can even grayscale it if you want. But otherwise, you can leave it like that. Looking really nice and professional, and it will really look good in magazines and stuff. So there you go. Just, so just remember to um, tune in, um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, just remember to message me. And there you go. This is how. This is not the end of a tutorial on how to make a vibrant. Um, make an image look more vibrant and powerful so yeah this is Chrono Jermo from um, Mr. Aronsaurus and I'll see you in the next video